of the, um, whew, how do you measure the light, the different colors of light for different sources and different filters and stuff like that. So in the, in the previous case, I, um, I showed you how to, to get these two pictures. These, this, this top picture right here, um, this is uh, a picture from that same device I showed. Oops, don't zoom in, please. Zoom out. Oops, okay. Um, and this is just looking at the floor and the hallway in the building. And this is looking at the ground outside. Okay, so you can see that they, they are different. They're definitely different brightnesses and stuff like that. Um, so let's just uh, go ahead and, and how do you analyze this? Uh, so this is tracker video. If you're not familiar with that, a lot of people associate with analyzing, uh, doing video analysis for movies, but it does a whole bunch more. So I have, uh, I've already put the picture in here. One of the nice things is if you want to compare, you want the uh, image sizes to be the same and so that everything lines up because uh, really I'm measuring the different colors at different distances and if I want to associate a distance with a the color, then they need to be scaled the same. And, and so you want your camera set up the same way for both of the things. Uh, it might be best just to use a, a tripod and not even move the camera or the, the diffraction grating uh, so that none of these things change. And then, then you'll, you can just use the exact same picture and they should be lined up automatically. Okay, so what you're going to do here is go to Create Align Profile. I forgot what it was. So, Okay. And oops, zoom back in. And so uh, here's the line profile thing. You just do what you normally do. Uh, you, you're going to draw a line over the region you want to analyze. So I'm going to start from like right at the edge of this and go that way. So I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to click and then I'm going to click over here. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I always forget these things. Okay, let's just, let's just uh, delete that. Okay. Create line profile. I'm gonna shift, drag. You gotta drag it. Okay, let me go as, as far as I want, right there. And you see over here, what it does is it produces, uh, looks along this line, uh, and the different brightness of the different colors uh, right here. So you can see this looks like this color is, I don't know, maybe green, green and red right there, I suspect, or maybe blue. Uh, and then there are some other colors out there too. Um, okay, now let's go ahead and look at the same thing over here. Um, create line profile. I'm going to do the same thing. And there you can see that it's different. This actually, uh, why does this go up like that? Uh, I, this is because my box, the inside's white, and the light was so bright that it was reflecting off the walls. This was a poor choice of, of lights. Okay, um, and then these things right here are that stuff. So really, uh, I'm looking at that. Um, and you see here that I actually get the colors twice. Same thing here. Um, so that depends on your diffraction grading about how much it bends the light. Um, you, you're going to get this whole thing repeating. But you can make a comparison uh, between these two. If I want to just look at this and go to uh, analyze, I can look at it in a little more detail. Uh, and I can see what, what's going on there. Um, they also, so you can plot just the red. I don't know how it does that. Just the green, just the blue. Lumina, that's what I had before. And this is by pixels. Now, this is not, this is not the wavelength on this horizontal axis until you somehow calibrate it. So if I know the wavelength of this color and that color, then I could, you could set the origin what I've done is put the origin right here and then go over here to uh, set the scale, new calibration stick. Actually the origin is going to be really far away. Um, and then you can say, okay, that's a hundred, you know, you set this whatever you want it to be and say that's however many uh, wavelengths, whatever units you want, and then it will look better. Or you, you can just export the data and then rescale it in, in a spreadsheet or whatever like that. But well, the, other, the cool things to look at are, you know, how do different cameras see the same light? The sensors are different, so you're going to get different things. But, okay, that's a quick introduction to how to use video analysis to look at, at light. I don't think these were the best examples, but 
but there you go.